and then find our child's pose. So from child's, we wrap our arms around the leg with control wings. We open up, we come into starfish. Transition to Namaste. From Namaste, we hold on to the swing. Lower down, come through ladle. In ladle pose, we bend our knees, reach back, grab for the ankles, bow pose. From bow pose, we're gonna hold on to the leg loops to come up. So release your ankles, pull yourself up to sit, and come right into prayer. Now we're gonna press the leg loops open. Away. Keep coming forward, keep coming forward. Mm -hmm. Skydiver. Mm -hmm. Great. Do the best you can to kind of stick our warm up lap. We'll do that again. Bend the elbows for flying butterfly. For flying butterfly, we're just going to sit back. Come to relax it. We'll do that one more time. So sway it out. We're going to skip the pigeon because once we stretch the hips, we're all good. Come to neutral, see the arms, go right into child. Drop the hips. Okay, starfish. From starfish, we try to for an almost day. Reversed almost day. So slide the swing into the waist. Release the arms down for ladle. Bend the knees for bow. Swim the arms back. Beautiful. Reach up, grab for the swing. Sit down. Hands in prayer. Press the leg loops open. And from here, bend the elbows and the knees. Find another five. Take a breath here and find another five. All right, so now we're just going to go right into our last sequence, see how we can kind of fly through these two. We really took our time earlier to warm it up, which we would want to do three warm-ups of each one, and then finish with this full sequence that we're reviewing. So let's get right into our side lunges. So we're going to open up left knee bend, right leg spins to the upper quad, hips pointing down towards the ground. Beautiful. Holding on to the leg loops several times. Let's do a roundabout and second side. Okay. Mm -hmm. I pull myself up. I'm kind of like steering. Yeah, that's it. So I'm kind of like doing a little circular movement. Well, to around the world. Yeah, the legs, yeah. The legs and the arms are really synchronized there. That's beautiful. Now let's bend the back leg, hold on to the foot, and come to our dancing Shiva. So we can kind of do a little flourish for Shiva. We can also push the leg loops away. What is this one called? Bow and arrow. <laughs> and then Hanuman, grab for the toes. Second side. Last one, right? So come through side lunge. Bend the knee. Grab to the foot. Let's just relax. One last chillax. Now obviously you're gonna gauge your class and see if anybody don't bother showing people Hanuman if they're not getting to dance in Shiva. They're just gonna be annoyed. <laughs> right? So only give them the next option. If if they're if they can't get into the lunch because of the leg loops, then you're gonna stop and spread them out, right? Do 
be like, we have options for everyone. So if somebody gets to this point, and you know, I like to hold on to the back edge so I can keep them spread out, then I might bend the knees here. Otherwise, we just let them shift from side to side. The idea is we open up the hips. If we're opening up the hips, we're in the right place. So to keep them spread, they're going to lift them to the other edge and pull them apart. That's great. 